हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन वेलकम बैक टू माय YouTube चैनल आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड मे गॉड ब्रिंग यू इवन मोर हैप्पीनेस इन योर लाइव्स You're always welcome here at your number one destination for everything related to the Iraqi dinar. In my videos, I aim to provide you with the latest updates on the Iraqi dinar. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Make sure to watch the entire video to support me and share it with your friends and family now. Let's dive into the latest update on the Iraqi dinar. The geopolitical landscape of the Middle East continues to be dynamic, with recent developments sparking discussions and analyzes across various sectors. One prominent topic within financial circles is the revaluation RV of the Iraqi dinar. Although news from Iraq has been relatively quiet recently, many observers, including myself, are convinced that the RV process has indeed begun. This belief is based on observable movements such as the organization of historic bonds which suggest that the wheels of revaluation are in motion however questions remain has the RV process experienced any slowdowns due to recent regional events and where exactly are we in this complex journey the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar is of significant interest to investors and financial analysts The RV process involves a series of coordinated steps that eventually lead to the revaluation of a country's currency. While the details can be intricate, the general sequence includes the issuance of historic bonds, the revaluation of the currency, followed by a broader financial reset, and ultimately the movement of currencies towards parity. One of the early indicators of the RV process is the issuance and movement of historic bonds. These bonds are often utilized to stabilize the economy and inject liquidity, serving as a precursor to currency revaluation. There has been notable activity surrounding these bonds, with various reports suggesting they are being organized and prepared for issuance. Following the issuance of historic bonds, the next step involves the revaluation of the currency itself. This stage is crucial as it adjusts the currency's value relative to other currencies, potentially increasing its worth and stability. Once the revaluation is implemented, a broader financial reset follows. This reset involves various economic adjustments, including changes in exchange rates and fiscal policies, aimed at stabilizing and boosting the economy. The final phase is the movement of currencies towards parity. meaning the currency value is adjusted to align more closely with global standards and exchange rates recent events in the middle east have added complexity to the revaluation process the region's geopolitical landscape is known for its volatility and such dynamics can influence financial and economic processes in unexpected ways key questions arise about whether these developments have led to any slowdown in the revaluation process and how they might impact the timing of currency revaluation the middle east is often characterized by fluctuating geopolitical tensions conflicts diplomatic shifts and regional power struggles that can have a cascading effect on economic activities it is essential to assess whether these tensions have had any direct or indirect impact on the revaluation process Different countries within the Middle East have diverse economic policies and priorities, and changes in these policies or economic strategies can influence regional financial markets and, by extension, the revaluation process in Iraq. Understanding these policy shifts helps gauge their potential effects on Iraq's currency revaluation. International investors and financial institutions play a crucial role in the revaluation process. Their reactions to regional developments can impact the pace and effectiveness of currency revaluation. Analyzing international investment trends and reactions provides insights into the broader implications for Iraq's revaluation process amid global market fluctuations. The Iraqi stock exchange risk has demonstrated resilience and positive performance unlike many international and arab stock exchanges the isx has shown favorable results on specific days suggesting that it operates in a relatively insulated business environment the business environment of the isx indicates that it functions within a business environment somewhat separate from international markets this separation can be attributed to various factors including unique economic conditions local regulations and investor sentiment specific to Iraq 
The positive results of the ISX could be seen as a sign of economic stability and confidence within Iraq's financial sector. This stability may contribute to a more favorable environment for the revaluation process, as a stable stock market can be indicative of broader economic health. While the revaluation process has undeniably begun, the precise timing of each phase remains uncertain. Various factors, including regional developments, international reactions, and domestic economic conditions, influence the pace and timing of currency revaluation. Investors and analysts should closely monitor key indicators such as the issuance of historic bonds, changes in currency values, and adjustments in financial policy. These indicators provide valuable insights into the progress and timing of the revaluation process. Given the unpredictability of geopolitical and economic factors, it is crucial to remain adaptable and informed. Strategic planning coupled with a keen understanding of regional and international developments, can help navigate the complexities of the revaluation process. The quietness in Iraq's news cycle does not negate these developments. The substantial movements and preparations related to the revaluation ARV e process, along with the organization of historic bonds and the positive performance of the Iraqi stock exchange, indicate ongoing progress. Recent events in the Middle East may introduce uncertainties, but they also highlight the need to monitor the evolving situation closely. The RV process is complex and multifaceted, and although the exact timing remains unknown, signs of progress are evident. Investors, analysts, and stakeholders must stay informed, adapt to changing conditions, and strategically plan to navigate the shifting financial landscape as this process unfolds. Continuous observation and analysis will be vital in understanding the full scope and timing of Iraq's currency revaluation and its broader implications for both the regional and global economy. Finally, I encourage everyone watching to remain positive and patient, as patience is key to success. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you.